I started writing it when I was in um, a writing group for theatre professionals called Wet Ink Collective. And uh, at the time, John hadn't let anybody know that he had Alzheimer's yet, because uh, Spirit of the West was trying to plan how they could release that information and still play shows. And uh, I started to write about a woman who worked in a store that kind of had these everyday problems about her children leaving the nest. But the Alzheimer's situation in my life kept intruding and so I started to write uh, about a woman whose husband had early onset and nobody in the group knew that that was really what was happening and they responded to the writing really well and it just kept encouraging me to continue and I, I found it very cathartic, very healing, um, wonderful thing to help get me through. I think when you're going through a really difficult time, if you can find a sense of purpose, it's really helpful. So uh, John really believed in the show. He was really encouraging. And when I asked him if he would write a couple of songs, uh, he, he was excited by that idea. So the first one was a love song that Tom writes for his wife as an anniversary present. And John is excellent at writing love songs. People usually think it's because he adored me, but it's not. He actually was really good at writing love songs because it got him out of doing housework. Um, so he wrote a love song and then he started to write Forget to Forget. Uh, and that came out of a totally different well for him. It, it, again, it was a very soothing experience, I think. John, um, uh, could just really escape inside that song and uh, it, that I think that song was as beneficial for him as it was for me. Elements of the story have come from my life living with John and the actors have then taken that and created their own people and I think have turned in some ways this story into a love story and I didn't know that was going to happen.